Hello, I'm gonna explain you a little bit the three components of the torque wrench. So this is the torque wrench. You have a big arm to do a bigger torque and then you have a um, smaller arm to calculate um, 35 newtons. In some implants, especially the narrow abutment implants, you don't want to go higher than 35 newtons. So you will use this arm. If you use molar or uh, extra large central incisors, then uh, at the very last turns you will be able to use the biggest arm. So you have a description on the range. Uh, out means to unscrew the implant out and then on the other side the word in to screw in the implant. So you have two wheel, two thumb wheels, one with a disc to rest the finger on top of it and one shorter, especially for the distal regions, molar areas, you need more space so sometimes this one will be nice. The, when you want to wrench the implant, and you want to screw the implant into the socket, you're gonna see the word in always. If you see the word out while you are screwing in, then it's not gonna work. You have to see the word in. And you're gonna bring the thumb wheel from below, like this, and slowly it's gonna fit inside until you hear a click. So it doesn't fall off. To release, you push down and then it comes out. So again, you have to read the word in and you have to bring the thumb wheel from below. Like this. And then push until you hear a click. So it doesn't fall off. To release, push down. If you want to unscrew, you have to read the word out. To unscrew, you have to read the word out. And then, again, you bring the wheel from below. And you push so it doesn't fall off. And you go ahead and screw. To release, you push down. If you want to use the short one and you want to screw the implant in, you're going to bring the wheel from down until you hear a click so it doesn't move, it's stable. To remove the wheel, you have to push down and it comes out. Again, in until you hear a click and then to release out. And then to clean this torque wrench, you have to push here on this area. You have to push here. The other side does not have this hole. So you have to push this hole down, strong, down, and then slowly these two parts come out. And then with a toothbrush, you're supposed to brush all these little parts so you don't get rust over time. So make sure you dismantle this wrench and you brush it and you clean it and then you sterilize it both at the same time. To put this part back in place, you're gonna fit it in first and then this groove here has to go on this side. It's the only place it's gonna fit. So you have to rotate until it goes in and then it's completely blocked. So again, we have to push down this area, push down and slowly it's gonna come loose. We brush all these little 
angles and then again we bring in slowly until the groove matches the dot and then it's blocked so there you go thank you for watching